started, I think we're continuing to grow. We're kind of a work in process a little bit. We have um, some returnees. Some of the returnees are playing in different roles. Um, but we've been able to, um, I think, start to define our roles and get a little better. The games kind of help you do that, um, even sometimes more so than practice. And uh, I, see, I see a team that really likes to play, that's really committed, and wants to get better. And as a coach, that makes you, gets you excited. I think we have a bunch of good guys this year. Like Coach has been preaching to us, it's more all of us instead of like individually having one guy score a ton of points. So I think that um, us moving the ball this year is going to be very important. Us being collective on defense and offense as well will be really important for us. I think what we learned is that it's more, we're more like we're a better team when we move the ball and stuff like that. When we get in the lane and we create shots for other people and stuff like that, I think that's when we know we're, I think that's when we play better as a team. And this is what college basketball is, right? Nobody stays forever. There's no lifetime contracts or anything like that. So we've had to adjust and that, that's what, this is college sports. So um, to watch the growth and development of a Ryan Salzberg, of a Joey Atkins, uh, Nick McDonald, Andrew Mason. You see those four guys kind of taking the mantle of the leadership. And you see that. And you see that their roles are going to change. They're, it's going to be a little different. In some ways, it's not going to be as easy because everybody, the first guy in the scouting report when every, anybody played us was Andrew Sisco, right? The second guy was probably Sean Fassier. Now, all of a sudden, when you move up in the scouting report, there's a little bit more pressure. There's a little bit more... Uh, eyes on you and you're gonna have to be able to develop. Yeah I think obviously with Andrew we played a lot through him and obviously he was a great player. We lost a couple other really good players so I think me and a couple other of my teammates we're gonna have to step up and be leaders and take over their role in that type in that aspect but I like I said earlier I think it's more all of us instead of just one guy or two guys I think we play as a team and I think that's when we'll be our best. It's been a challenge we have six freshmen we have three transfers, so you have nine newcomers coming into a, a team, and, and, it, and it takes a little while to learn our language, learn how we do things and all that. And, and, and to their credit, to the guys' credit, they have really picked it up. We have guys who love to play, who love to be in the gym, um, and, and be a part of it. And I think that's, that's been good to see. And you see the older guys, or the, and they really can't call anybody older, you have to call them the returning guys, be able to take them kind of under their wing and help them. I think then we also have guys like Ty Hind and Justin Hemphill who are here for a couple years but are still freshmen on the basketball court and that's been good to see too because they're kind of older, younger veterans, right? Younger veterans I guess you'd call them, right? They're, they've been here, they've been around, but they haven't really played so they're going to get a chance to play too. So uh, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to 